I've got some mailbag items here, so uh, we'll have a look through them, see what's arrived. So I've got some more of these uh, pins, cables for Arduino, you know, jumping things together, little jumper connections, a bunch of those, male and female. Nothing particularly exciting there. What's in here? Here is terminals. A bunch of these terminal blocks. These are these uh, double pin ones. I didn't have any of these, so I thought I'll get some because it'd be handy when you're doing circuit designs and stuff like that. You just need some screw terminals and, and uh, rather than wiring directly onto the boards. Um, so I've got a bunch of those. Here we are there. Oh, I've completely forgotten. I think it's probably 20 in a bag or something, so it's probably 100 of them. So, that's those. One sec. What's this say? Oh, it's another little power supply. So this is a 12 volt, 5 amp power supply. Uh, unknown brand, so yeah, who knows what, what the quality is actually like. Oh, there's an adjustment pot here at least. A little uh, cover there to try and protect the terminals. So you don't touch them, that's not too bad, I suppose. And try and look at the heat sinking. Yeah, it's very much like the one I um, looked at before actually, which I did on my bench power supply. It's like it's a very similar design, it's probably from the same place. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's heat sink. The transistor strands that bit there. It's not particularly thick metal, but um, it probably be alright. It's only 5 amps after all. Um, brand caps, who knows? I can't see a branding. Uh, Chong, yeah. Chong X brand caps, so, yeah, you know, it's cheap. But it wasn't that expensive, so it'd be a good little thing to have around. So I've now got a, few, a selection of those power supplies to look at. And it's the last thing. And that's it. So these are just a couple of little buzzers. Then comes a couple of wires, so um, no, I won't, I won't open them up. It's not that interesting, but little buzzer in there. Hope you can see it. Get the light on it right. Hopefully. See that? Yeah. Anyway, probably better for surface mount. I know. Well, on a um, piece of B mounting rather than wire, but it's all right. I, again, I need a couple of those, so I thought I'd get some more. So that's it for now. Well, I've got a couple of mailbag items here to do, so we'll uh, get on to it. Now, there's only a couple of things here. I did have some other items which I'd already opened because I needed the parts that are in there. I had some more capacitors turn up for the fluke, so um, I just didn't bother. I just, I just got them out and did them, so sorry about that, but only caps anyway. All right, so let's get on. Let's see what the first thing is. Magnets. So I bought some magnets. Um, I can't remember why I bought some magnets, but I did have a reason. They were for something. Um, why did I get these? I'm trying to remember now. So what's uh, all the same? I've got some more in there, but ah, that's right now. Now I remember. Okay. So these have got. Um, I, I called neodymium. Is it neodymium? Neodymium. Yeah, I think it is. Um, so they've got these little screw holes in the centre there, countersunk screw holes. So you could probably use these on like cupboards and stuff like that, which is what I'm planning to do. Using this on cupboards um, to uh, hold the thing shut in the motorhome when we're travelling along. Because there's a couple there which tend to come open a little bit too easily. So I just want to stick these on. And the ones you buy like. Um, 
that's super strong that's incredible I feel that um, the ones like cat, standard cat, uh, catches from hardware stores you know um, they're just not strong enough or they're too fragile like they, they've got the plastic casing around them with a couple of like strips of magnet in there you know a couple of bits of steel with a magnet in between sandwiched in there and the plastic cases break when you open the doors they end up breaking the surrounds so the magnets end up stuck to the doors because the thing that holds the magnet breaks because the quality is absolutely rubbish um, and unfortunately the shops that I have in this country you go to any of them they've all got the same ones and they're all crap so I thought well I've enough of that so I thought I'll get some magnets and then all I've really got to do is just um, replace those crappy ones with these because the metal plates that come with them is fine you know which stick onto the door and I can just stick this on the other side and that will uh, that will work just fine I just got to be careful where I put these down now because otherwise I might have trouble picking back up <laughs> but, uh, yeah how do I get in there so 20 4 6 8 10 so it's 20 there and I think there's probably 10 more in here just stick them over there oh there's different ones that's right Okay, so these are bar ones instead. Same same deal with the hole in the centre, but these are bars. So uh, these are probably more suited. But I've got both types because one's quite sure which one's going to work best. Um, so it might be these, but we'll see. Let's stick them both on there. Okay, okay rubbish. And let's look at the next thing, which I kind of already know what this is anyway, because I'm eBay. So I've got a pretty good idea. Um, oh, I'll knock stuff off my desk. Let's try and get into it. It shouldn't be too hard. That should be sufficient. Cool, that should put a little plastic bag too, that's cool. Try and protect it. Very nice. Right. Very cool Dana. Um, let's get this out of the way. There we go. So, as you can see, it's a universal Fuchs counter manual. 1991-1992. Now, the one I have is a 1992. I did have a 1991. I sold that after I got the 1992. I think I got that right. Hold on. Let's put it around the cupboard right now. Where is it? There it is. Yep, that's all right. 1992. So, um... I have had that one which I sold after I repaired it and I've got this one here which I have put to one side right now so this is the full manual and uh, I thought well I've already got an electronic version but having a actual physical copy is always very nice um, you know, it tells you everything about it and it's, it's nice to sit down and actually read through a manual rather than trying to look at pages on a bloody screen um, how good this is if it is a reproduction I don't think it's a reproduction I think it's original fairly sure it's original um, at least you know the parts are readable you know, the values are readable that sort of thing um, this, this one here is not so good though you have to say I'm actually wondering if this is a reproduction then it may be a reproduction um, quite possibly been copied but um, you expect the original manual would be a bit clearer than that in some places. This, the diagrams here are fine. Those look alright. Those are all readable fine. This is not so good. Um, mind you, it might be partly to do the print quality available at the time, but this is looks like a photocopy in the quality here. You know, which is yeah, no, that's right. As long as the, as long as the circuit diagrams are readable, the layouts are less important. Because um, you can always figure it out, but yeah. So I saw this come up on eBay. And I thought, oh, all right, I'd better grab that. But it wasn't expensive. It was um, yeah, fifteen dollars for the manual, US, thirty-six dollars to post it. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, well, that's, that's the original spine. I don't know. Maybe they took the original pages out and and put and kept those somewhere else and made this photocopies or maybe that's just the quality of the original manual maybe maybe that's all it is but um the outside is original anyway 
All right, that's enough of it. Um, that's all I have for the time being. I'm sure there'll be some video following this one or whatever. So um, thanks again to my, to my subscribers and for supporting me and Patreon supporters and PayPal supporters, people that donated that those two methods. Um, it's great to have that support because it helps me to buy things like this, um, which will help me fixing future units if I get another one, you know, kind of thing. Obviously, I've got this one myself, but I may well buy another one if I see one cheap. Um, if I see one for the right price, worth getting, worth taking the punt on, then I'll get one and repair it again. Usually, it's the front panel buttons, or, you know, I think my one had the um, had a blown op amp or something in front of it, which I had to replace. Um, I think that's wrong with my one when I got it. So, anyway, this will be helpful. So, those, do those donations and stuff are really great, and that's really helpful, and, and uh, the money goes back into me buying things for the channel. You know, that's what it's used for. It's me buying electronics bits and pieces. So, anyone wants to support me is brilliant. You know, much appreciated, and I'm really thank thankful for the people which are supporting me already. Um, that's what it's helpful. It's not a lot of money, but it helps. You know, I do this because it's a hobby, not because I'm rich. All right, catch you later. Have a good one.